Okay. So let's talk about the basics where we're going to understand how to use uh, QuickBooks Online. Okay. So why QuickBooks Online accountant? For professionals, accounting professionals, CPAs, bookkeeping consultants, it's the optimal way to log in. Because you log in, you will have one access point for all your clients, right? You're going to see all your clients. You can access and switch to your clients really, really easily. You can monitor. There's tools to monitor your clients to see the status of their last reconciliation, their status of their, their bank downloads, all in a single dashboard, okay? That's really the, the idea behind having this QuickBooks line accountant instead of having uh, you log in into each client's account separately as a different login. Now, how do you get QuickBooks Line Accountant? I think at this point, everybody um, has QuickBooks Line Accountant. If you don't have it, go to any of the links that are here. And I'll go ahead and put it in the chat just in case any of you are still sort of pending um, to, um, to set up your QuickBooks Line Accountant account. So if you look in the chat, I went ahead and I pasted the, the link there. Okay, now, how do you get your clients to show in QuickBooks Online Accountant? So at the beginning, we said, if you create the client yourself, they will, they will show up there because you created them. But if the client already has their own account, they have their existing account they created before they started interacting with you, or they did it on their own, they have to go into the gear icon, click on Manage Users, and put your email address in there, the same email address you use for your QuickBooks and accountant account. And then you're gonna get an email invitation which you have to accept. Once you accept and you log in, okay, by going into quickqbo.intuit.com, same place where you log into any QuickBooks uh, account. Once you log in, uh, you will see all your clients in one section. Okay, so about your clients. So there's four sections on the client list. There's bookkeeping, payroll, tax, and other. Okay, other is a document request feature that um, that we, we're not gonna discuss just because it's, it's that that was in the process of getting revamped. We'll focus on on bookkeeping, payroll, and tax. On the bookkeeping side, you will have a list of all the bank accounts that were last downloaded. Sorry, not the list, but it will give you which is the last time the bank was downloaded. It will give you um, total number of transactions that were downloaded but have, haven't been, haven't been uh, accepted into the books yet. You will see any changes to reconciliations, any transactions that were changed after you closed the period, right? These are the type of things that you see in a dashboard to kind of give you an idea where all your clients are. On their payroll, you can see the last time they did payroll, and you can also see what's due. You know, taxes are due, forms are due. On their tax, this is for you to do something called a trial balance review, which is for you to close your period and then send the information from QuickBooks Online into it, uh, into into it tax online. Okay. Then under the status, we can see uh, if they're an active QuickBooks Online subscriber. You're gonna see the icon there. That quick QuickBooks icon, that's the fastest way to log into QuickBooks. So the single fastest way to open a QuickBooks clients file is to log in into QuickBooks Line Accountant, click on clients, and click on their icon there. Okay, the client's name will be will be listed there. If I actually click on a client's name, it would go into a detailed version of the client um, screen, which will basically give me account by account their current balances account by account their last reconciliation we'll also tell you the last time that you signed into it whether or not the books are closed and you can actually on the right side click on review now and it will take you straight into the screen related to whatever items are there pending for review if you inactivate the client which basically you open them up you go to edit client and you go to make an active it only hides them from your QuickBooks Online account. Sorry, QuickBooks Online accountant account. It doesn't close the company file. It doesn't stop charging the client. It doesn't inactivate their client's access to it. It just makes it inactive from the list. If you wanted to actually close that account so you don't keep paying the monthly fee 
um, or if you wanted to transfer it to your client, that would be an entirely different procedure. But marking it inactive is just to hide it from your customer list. So the question was, where do I find or where do I go to find information? So here at the top icon bar, or on the, not the top icon bar, but the top bar here, there's the create button, there's the recent transactions button, and then there's the find button. Okay, so when you go to here, find, this is actually search. I can search anything I want. So when I search something $500 worth, I click on search and it'll take me to a screen where it will tell me all the transactions that were searched, right? In this case, it was, there wasn't any. So it's right here. You will click on that little magnifying glass that will take you to the search. Perfect. Okay, let's talk about team. In QuickBooks Online Accountant, there's the section of team. Team is where you create a user that can have access to your client's books. You can, act, you can have unlimited team members accessing your client books. So clients can only invite two accountant users, but only an account under an accountant user that could be unlimited team members. Now, what's nice about the team members is once you create the team member, you can give them access to your own books we talk about the firm's books or you can just take give them no access to your firm's books and then you can also choose which clients they can access so this section that says firm administration and books that's for you to tell it what area inside your own firm's books uh, they can access it could be none and then under client access you can pick and choose which clients your team members can access. Now, you also have the Pro Advisor portal all built in into the QuickBooks Online Accountant uh, interface. So we're gonna recognize, you know, how, how, how do we uh, navigate that portion? So let me just show you that real quick. Let me log in, I have to log into an actual active QuickBooks Online Accountant uh, account so I can show you the pro advisor portal real quick. I think I already showed that uh, anyway um, While that logs in we'll go through while that logs in we'll go through the different types of pro advisor plans So when you sign in as a pro advisor if you're only going to be supporting QuickBooks online clients Then you get the free pro advisor program only QuickBooks online clients you can get certified You can get listed in the directory um, you can get access to certain discounts on third-party apps. If you're also going to be supporting QuickBooks desktop clients, so we're talking about clients that have QuickBooks Pro or QuickBooks Premier, you have, have access to, an, to a QuickBooks uh, account software, uh, the QuickBooks accountant software of that year version, and every year that you pay the 349, you will have the updated version. And with that license of QuickBooks accountant, you can support and open up your clients QuickBooks Pro or QuickBooks Premier accounts. If you have clients that use QuickBooks Enterprise and you want access to the certification of QuickBooks Enterprise and the software, then you go with a premium Pro Advisor subscription, which is $549 a year. But again, if you're only going to be working with QuickBooks Online clients, which is what this training is all about anyway, then you're not going to be paying a dime ever for the Pro Advisor program. Okay? So, all pro advisors will have access to dedicated uh, support and make sure that you get certified to have that support. You will have that free QuickBooks Online Accountant access. You will have that free uh, account for your own books. You have uh, access to resources and to convert to, uh, to QuickBooks on, uh, desktop, from QuickBooks Desktop to QuickBooks Online, additional training certifications, and special pricing to third-party apps. Now, in order to get that dedicated access support, you have to be a gold member, which basically means that you're certified. So as long as you're certified, you will have access to the QuickBooks Online training, you will have support, and you will have uh, the Pro Advisor subscription, I mean, the Pro Advisor directory, so you can list yourself and clients can find you there, okay? If you have if you have up more than 20 clients in QuickBooks Online, or if you are advanced certified, you, you will have access to premium support, which is a team that's dedicated 
only for advanced pro advisors and typically help you manage more complicated things and you will have priority ranking on the pro advisor directory now when you log into your pro advisor uh, uh, portal through quickbooks online accountant which i try to do it on my site but i think it had me logged out um, when you log into the portal you can click on certification this is where you're going to go take the exam or download the training modules or the supplemental guides when you click on profile that's where you can add the picture to your profile change your profile settings um, and then tell it whether or not it's public that means other clients can find you and then you can find other resources like training software discounts resources definitely check that out the last piece here is your books your books is a free quickbooks online ac account for you it's a free quickbooks online account it's actually quickbooks online plus it's a free quickbooks online account for you to use for your own firm so the idea is that your own accounting as an accountant as an accounting business as an accounting firm as an accounting professional providing accounting services whatever situation you may be in that you run your books through your firm through the your book section of quickbooks online accountant which is basically a free a free account just for your own internal use and that would be under that your book side on the left side and it's all integrated into the quickbooks online accountant interface now the toolbar let's recognize the features of the toolbar the toolbar is the bar in the top that basically gives you three things one a shortcut to going to the home screen of quickbooks online accountant that's that big green bar that's there you have the client switcher which allows you to quickly switch um, among clients and then you have a little briefcase that gives you access to the tools let me see if we have a screenshot on the briefcase i'll show that in the demo when i log back in and then when you go into the gear icon on the right side this is when you're logged in as an accountant with the green bar across the top you go to the gear icon you can scroll down and you can get to the wholesale billing function wholesale billing it's access to preferred pricing on to every quickbooks online account or or, or company that, that you are paying for your clients you will have a permanent 50 percent discount on all those accounts and you can manage them in wholesale billing you can actually change the credit card information you can remove them from wholesale billing so your client starts paying for the account or just cancel the account completely or you can move clients that bought quickbooks on their own you can move them into wholesale billing and take over paying for that 